As Buttigieg spoke in front of the crowd touting the Biden administration's infrastructure package, he mentioned the frequency at which derailments happen across the country and the importance of maintaining railroad infrastructure. I'm wondering how projects like this one directly correlate with safety in these small town communities. Well, anytime you can improve and modernize the railroad infrastructure, you're making it less likely that there would be a collision with a vehicle or another kind of rail incident. Uh, if you look at the project area where we're doing this, you got wooden structure built into the asphalt. We're going to upgrade that to a class one level. But a judge says the railroad accidents and derailments happen far more frequently than people realize, about a thousand a year. I'm wondering what message you have to small town communities that have fears that something like that can happen in their town, in their community. Well, any community that lives along a railroad line, including, of course, South Bend, where I grew up, wonders whether they're going to be safe, especially with the headlines that they've seen. And there are two messages I want people to hear. One, uh, that we are holding companies accountable and making infrastructure improvements to improve railway safety. But two, there is legislation in front of Congress right now called the Railway Safety Act that would allow us to do more. And I hope that uh, this is beyond partisan politics. We asked how the administration holds companies accountable. We just announced record penalties in the case of an airline that wasn't taking care of passengers and left them stuck on the tarmac. And whether we're talking about airlines, railroads, or anyone else, uh, we will use our enforcement powers to protect people. Now, at the very same time, when a company's doing the right thing, we're willing to work with them. Buttigieg also visiting Gary today, where he toured projects that support manufacturing and the national supply chains. Tomorrow, he heads to Indianapolis. Juliana Fafari, WSBT 22 News. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube channel.